Morning. What do you think? Morning, oh, morning. ladies and gentlemen. We uh, we roughed the first night in the Trappist cabin. It was dry. I don't believe we slept alone. <laughs> but other than that, pretty good. Do you have a colony of mice in there with well, you? Well, it's definitely we was moving in on their estate, I think. Yeah. But oh well. Got a little rain last night. Gonna keep the dust down today. Made progress last night. Best thing is we got a new new man in the group today. Yeah, Donnie. Donnie's back in action. I think he over, might have overdone it, not feeling completely good, but I think he just overdone it with the heat, to be honest with you. Yeah. But we give her give her all we had till dark last night, and we're gonna give her a 12-hour day today, and tonight it's gonna look different, Joe. What do you have for mouse protection last night? What was that sta stainless steel mouse apparatus you brought in? Stainless steel? What one? That 45. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, this, yeah. This is what this is. It's bear season, Joe. And if you buy the super pack license, and you gotta. Oh, I thought you brought this up for the mice. Well, mostly for rodents. Yes, yes. Uh, 4570 guide gun. Beauty. Yeah. Pretty cool old cowboy cartridge. That's what you got to use out in Ohio? Yeah, anything out in Ohio when we go out there, me and Cameron, you have to use uh, anything with a straight wall case in it. can't have no neck to it. It has to, has to be straight. So like a 444, 450, 4570, 350 cartridges like that. Yeah. Just because they don't want you to shoot long range, you know what I mean? They. It's all rolling hills out there, go a long ways. You start shooting 30 odd sixes and stuff, it'd be. But, yeah. Well, how's your body feeling? Did we get tossed around yesterday? I feel good about that. The bed was. <laughs> We're gonna get through it. It's gonna be better just as soon as we get this place built, Joe, ain't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Brandon's pretty pumped for this place, too. He's a big time snowmobiler and i guess he comes right through here on a couple of them winter trips right oh yeah well, this this is this is uh this is the epicenter this is good snowmobiling up in this country especially when you not as scared of a little rod you can get anywhere from here you know you can yeah I, I wouldn't be surprised you could get up the village of allagash in an hour or so fort kent be an hour and a half now in 45 minutes but maybe not i don't know i, I gotta see where the trail system connects but i i know the main ITS that's running north where it forks off to 120 is where I think it's close to here. Yeah. To do the Dabuli loop. But I don't know. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta look at it. But we are gonna have a little bit of fun this winter up here, no matter what. Oh, no matter what, yeah. Even if we go chub fishing, we're coming up to try to, try to wet a line in some of these places. Got we'll, to. Yeah, we'll get a chub. Well, I'm gonna grab my coffee cup. Yeah, that's what I'm headed for is a cup of coffee. Cameron really pulled through on this trip. Uh, we got a black and decker, the real deal coffee pot, Joe. No perk coffee this trip. You don't like my perk coffee, huh? Oh, I love it, but I don't like waiting for it. And Donnie, hey. to be nice. welcome. What's that? How you feeling? I feel a little better this yeah. morning. You sound terrible. I know. I, I've coughed all night. And, and uh, geez. Man, we are I so had... happy to see you come out of that tent. Oh man, I had it. I don't know. I, I must have got really dehydrated yesterday. Yeah. I haven't thrown up forever. No. I threw up twice yesterday. I just drink the liquid and I throw it right up. Huh. So. You mind if I bum one of these coffee cups out of, out of this box? It. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, definitely. Did you get some coffee, Joe? Not yet. This fire pit. It's gonna be a part of this, though. Oh, yeah. I, I, I like the fire pit. Yeah, we're gonna move that up to a nice. Everybody wants a truck rim to bring your fire pit. Rip. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's good for me. Yeah. How's your body feeling? Oh, I'm great. Yeah. You ever slept with so many females? <laughs> <laughs> They're all mice. Not but... mice. Yeah. <laughs> he said he had five go across his body. Is that, did, are yeah. you serious, Gary? No, this is gonna be quite a place up here and getting done. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. I. You know, me and Cameron talk was talking too, like. 
There's a lot of beautiful places in this country, but man, there's just something about coming up here. I, I like spending time up here. You don't see many people. And usually when you go with a bunch of guys, it's a bunch of guys on the same page about yeah. doing the camping style thing up here. Yeah. We gonna insulate that floor with Donnie. What's that? We gonna insulate the floor of the camp with. What do you think? We're gonna use a two-inch styrofoam, blue, the blue styrofoam. Yeah. And yeah, we, what we did on Joe's. Did you cut strips or did you camp. just flush nail it? Yeah, what's you, that? you cut strips and put it up under yeah. the joists. Yeah. Yeah. On scuffs, we just we face nailed it to keep it all plain, so there weren't so many transitions. That's how we that. Uh, the guy that worked for me, we built yeah. him a tiny home. Yeah. And I spray foam the inside of it. Okay. And then, but I just, I put it on the bottom of the joists. I heard some people say if you leave an air gap there, it's almost like I value. Right. Did, That's did, what did, we did on his. We left it down. Yeah. You know, way. Yeah. And I do think that that, that helps. helps. Yeah. Yeah. How far are you going to try to be off the ground, Donnie? What are you thinking, 30 inches or something? Or? Well, we're going to use those 16 inch round pads. Yeah. And then I was thinking a cement block and probably a four inch solid block, too. So I, I want to be up off the ground, you know, like a couple feet, I think. I shot one laying down out in Ohio, but that was because it had an inflicted gunshot wound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, honest to God, I we were hunting this little piece up in back of my house and and uh, drove the doe out across the field in front of a couple guys and my God, all the shooting and banging going on and no deal. So we went through the piece again and Christ, I look and there was a you know a fawn that would fall in that spring, all curled up in a ball sleeping huh and believe me i was this close to it i walked all the way around it trying to get a head shot you know because it hit, curled yeah. its head back on its body i didn't want to ruin the meat yeah and finally i got a position and the thing never moved they will i watch on deer drives out in ohio donnie like where we hunt is really aggressive hardwood ridges that go down into hollows, you know what I mean? But sometimes when you're deer driving, you can see two of your buddies, they're 300 yards away, but you can see them down in the valley, you know? Yeah, yeah. We was driving this little block last year, me and Bobby, and I looked down and I could see a deer 15 yards in front of him laying underneath the blowdown. And he was, he was hauling and hooting, you know, we were pushing to the other guys. Yeah. That deer didn't move until I'm telling you, just like you say that. Yeah. He stepped on that deer. Out, I, out I there, we have another spot, a cow stand, we call it. And you go up over this hill, and it flattens out, and the and his side-by-side -side trail forks. Like, opens up and then comes back together on a little island. Yeah. And that island ain't, I'm not shitting you, you could throw a rock from one end of it to the other, always. All in its briar patches that will tear your clothes right off. I, the worst briar patches you ever see. Oh, wow. And I've never bombed through that hole without pushing deer out of it. They'll <laughs> let you walk right by them that close. Yeah, wow. Well, when I was farming, you'd hay a field right after fawns born. They'd get born. Mother would tell them, sit, don't move. You'd get out there with that tractor. Mother tried to tell them to move. They couldn't hear it over the tractor. Really send them, send right, them right through the disc mine. Oh, yeah. wow. You drove right by my house. I live on that road. <laughs> oh, road? Right on the Route 1? <laughs> no, but I, oh, you, know, the road you, know how that, you know how that road loops around? Yeah. That called, yeah, I live on that loop road. But I my land goes all the way from that loop road all the way back through to Route 1. Oh, wow. I own a strip, that go, a mile strip. That You'll have to stop and see him. You'll be shocked. Yeah. He's actually quite presentable. He's got, a, really? he's got a wife. Well, he's got a wife. He's got to be got, presentable. She's, she's got all her teeth still. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got a couple kids that dress up nice. I mean, yeah. they Give go to school. They go to the school and everything. But I mean, you spend enough time with Brandon, you kind of get surprised sometimes. Yeah. Well, we're not from Quebec, Joe. Give us some credit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I am the black sheep of my development. It's all millionaires. And me, Donnie. Oh. Oh, <laughs> same thing, ain't it? I don't give them. Thing, ain't it? They don't. They. I don't. 
I try to tell them something sensible and they look at me like I have three heads. They, they want to put a bunch of money into these dry hydrants, all these out-of-staters for more fire department. I said, do you realize? I said, we have a volunteer fire department <coughs> in a perfect world. If somebody's drinking coffee at the fire station, you're looking at 45 minutes. Oh my God. You know what I mean? I I'm gonna put this. It was about, I don't know, Christ, how many years ago now? Four or five, Donnie. I was doing a firefighter day down the ice cream shop, raise money for the fire department. Oh yeah. So they's down there, fire trucks, the whole group of them, you know, doing demonstrations and stuff. Friggin' plane crashes three miles away in the swamp. We had. <clears throat> We had 28 firefighters on scene in less than two and a half minutes. Jeez. The FFA said they've never had a response like that to any plane crash in the whole, in the whole U.S. The FAA. Yeah, they. I said, yeah, well, Jefferson, Maine. We're on the map. I think I might try some of that hot sauce if it's still kicking around. What do you think of that? It's delicious. I like it. Drive that right in here. See how the morning goes. My morning already went. <laughs> oh, did you, make a, did you make a run? Fuck! Tin man have a sheet milk. <laughs> Last time you checked. You want to push? Probably be alright.
perfect. Well, that's probably the biggest tree on here. Um, it's over 24 across. Couldn't get through with that saw. But I'll show you guys how to let the hinge do the work for you and drop it where you wanted it. This tree wanted to go that way with the weight and the angle. But we wanted it this way. So what I did is I took my notch here about a, about a solid third into the tree. <coughs> and then I come across and it tried to be as straight as possible. I left a little extra this way to put that twist on it. <coughs> but this is... <coughs> This is all hinge wood right here and there it is there and that's what got it falling that way so that's a pretty pretty big old tree right there that's probably the biggest one we got to get out of the way here but we're, we're doing all right my summer no catching that five pounder that that made me pretty excited in the tournament too Hey, won me a little bit of money. <laughs> wow, great. It won't bite in yeah. the rake goes again. That's the right side. That Brandon is some good on that machine. We are some happy he came up. He doesn't baby it like he babies his snowmobile. And, and during ice fishing season, how he babies everything. But you get him on that machine, he's pretty good. Maybe because it's rented, I don't know. But we are some happy Brandon's here and Cameron's here. And we're getting there. We got like two more decent trees to cut and that'll be what we think our footprint's gonna be. And we'll do a couple loads in and out of here with some gravel and shale and if, uh, if we need more out of here, we'll take more out of here. If not, then we're good to go. Brandon, you got you got a mess out here, Bob. What do you think of that mess? I didn't make the mess. I'm trying to clean up your mess. I'm making the mess. Guys, I think that's the last tree we're dropping. At least that's the plan right now. So a lot of trees come down. <coughs> Pretty decent area. There's not, there's not going to be any trees falling on the camp, so we're proud about that.
you know, you clear that out. and Pretty good chance we haul some gravel today, which would be awesome. Some shale. I'd hey, like right. to I'd like to dig into that shell pit and see how good or bad it is. You know how much fill is gonna be on the front of the front side of that cabin? Uh 18, 20 inches. More. Well, it doesn't have to be flat. We can build off. Well, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? I don't mind it not being flat because then the water will run underneath. I didn't it. realize how big a hill this was. This is a big hill. It's we're a on. big hill. I mean, look, we're our feet right now are above that roof. Oh yeah, we're if you twenty five feet above above down there. Yeah, and then we're probably twenty five feet from there. I think it's time for lunch, old boy. Yeah. So I was noticing you drive that that machine pretty hard. You don't baby it like you do on your ice fishing adventures. I don't baby nothing, Joe. That was a dig because he don't baby nothing. <laughs> I never see anybody go harder than him. You know what a friend of mine says? <laughs> it ain't new forever. That's right. <laughs> you know it? This is going to make it way better with the water. Yeah. That's a, big, that's a lot of clearing. Oh, all the shale. We're in. having chop suey for supper. Nice. That's pretty easy. That's to usually do. first meal. Yeah. How are you feeling, Donnie? I feel not a hundred percent, but I feel certainly a lot better. My wife gets so mad at me when I when I don't feel good, but the best thing for it's cool, fresh air. Get outside. Oh, my my wife. You know, I need all the sympathy in the world. You know, when I get sick. Oh my God, she hated that. Yeah. Oh, I said, Dior, can you give me this? Or give me that. <laughs> oh, shit, that would drive Bobby crazy. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, what's. Oh. Did you get that message what? out or no? Landon. So we went down to Landon and they called a friggin' moose across the river. Well, the moose got, just hit the shore that they were on they started blasting the moose turned around and started to go back across the river and died out in the middle of the river oh, they God. didn't have a boat or anything we had the canoe so I went down got the canoe dragged the moose in for them and they were from Monmouth, Maine and uh, oh geez thank you we didn't, I don't know how we would have got it well I don't know how they would have got it either but how did the moose float? How did the moose float? It, it floated. Good, it's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> but wow. honestly, Donnie, my father's worked very hard his whole life. And, and never made an honest rate at anything he ever done to give it all away. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. not kidding you. He's, wor he's worked just like that his whole life and he's never, he's never had a new vehicle or anything like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? He drives around a truck. He's driving around in a oh. truck right now that we put two red, the gas tank blew out of his truck going to the Allagash last oh, time, right on the ground. He, well, he was sitting the at the gas track. pumps. Mm, boom. <laughs> Can't oh, we go to Steven my. before you pull ahead? We ought to lift that up. Wow. wow. <laughs> we put two ratchet straps on it, one of them itself, before we even got to friggin' T Loss Road. And that same ratchet strap has been still holding that gas tank right now. And that's really? from spring. Wow. Well, lunch is over. We're getting back at it. Brandon's got a mess to clean up. We left him a nice mess. Wish he'd do a little bit better cleanup than this. But that's all we got. So we had sandwiches, cold cuts for lunch. Oh, Go pretty good on a trip like this. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Donnie and I are each gonna drive some uh, emergency into us, see if that straightens us out a little bit. We both got the, the creepy crud. But yeah, he's gonna clean that up, stump it. And then we should be good to go. go uh, he's gonna flatten her the best he can, then we're gonna go get some shale and see how we do. Hopefully, if we can get a load or two of shale today, I'd be tickled pink.
We'll go. Yep, I don't want to get hit by that, Joe. No. this one because I messed it up. Go, really. go about a foot. <laughs> I think she's all yours now, Bob. Yeah, yeah take her right up to the flat. Yeah, it looks great. It's gonna look great with a foot of shale on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. We we'll probably put, put more shale down front, build that up a little higher than back here. Although that really doesn't matter because we're gonna put pads under it. That log did a good job. What better than that? Yeah, oh, yeah. It, it helped. Yeah. Bigger than that blade. Yeah. Yeah. How you feel about this job? You feel like you might get paid on it, or feel like this might be one of them ones you get stiffed on? I don't know. Probably. I can't wait till the snows are up to your tits up here, Joe. Two months. Two months. Oh man. I love hitting them roads that nobody's even been on and drive the nose of snowmobile right in the snow. So really? cover it over the windshield. <laughs> yeah. love it. Oh, when's your new sled coming? December, he says. Huh. I don't see why that doesn't work. It's definitely soft, but it's only going to get better each time in and out of here. I know it. On the shield dump, we'll be in pretty good shape. <laughs> this is written backwards if you have to dump it alone. Yeah. Yeah. I knew I, thought, I was worried you put too much up front.
guess just pile it, right? You'll, I mean, you'll have to drive out a little bit. I think that's all of it. Yeah, yeah, you could. Want to go ahead a little more? Uh, might not even have to. Okay. Oh, I guess yeah. I guess you'll have to. Just to get that last bit out. What a base that's gonna make, huh? Thing of beauty, you got her. All right, guys, all right, all right, all right. We are pumped. First load. First load official. Right <laughs> Dump. We're gonna have a lot of loads to do. We're gonna. It's three thirty now. We're gonna. We're gonna hammer till dark. I mean, I can promise you that. And we got lights. And honestly, we can do this stuff. Yeah, this. Into the going night. Going back and forth, dump the dirt. Ain't yeah. <laughs> we got reinforcements coming tomorrow. Stevie with a sixteen-foot dump trailer. Double time. Yeah. So we'll be running two at a time and just getting it in there as quick as we can get her in there. But that's oh, the story. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got to load her further in the back. Dump. Hard. Okay. That that one was more forward than center. Okay. So put a shitload right on the tailgate. No Jack, problem. Jack knife that in, Kelly. Hard jack knife. Yeah. Now Jason can. We didn't go any. You gotta answer Stevie. What's he saying? Oh, he didn't say much. He said, how are you feeling? And how I was feeling. He's gotta take over the business. Yeah. Can't be a four and a half mile. I'd say it was close to a mile. Point seven. Yeah. Well, we was doing good. We got four loads in, but that didn't sound too good. No. <laughs> that didn't sound good. Not good at all. No. Too I'll much sidewall. I'll try it one. Sidewall. I never had luck, luck with that. Just watch your hands, Donnie. Or Cameron, I could put that. I could put that. Yeah, let me just hand this to him and I'll get right out of the way. I'll yeah, try. I could put that brace up. Just, I hate this thing to fall and pinch you. Well, while you're down there, what size lug you need to get that spare off? 
I got an impact over there in the back seat of my truck. Do you really? I'm trying, trust me. <laughs> If we can hold it right there. Yeah. You can sock it on it now? It's there oh, I go almost got them off now. Go ahead and let it drop. Dust. Oh. Watch your uh oh my god. I guess that's my next Milwaukee purchase. Impact wrench? I guess so. Holy crap. I think that thing's. Whoa, she's sliding. Jacks, so watch your fingers jump. Holy God, I guess so. This way a little bit. Just gotta go up right, kind of here. Right there. Oh. Watch your fingers, I gotta come up a little. Got it, Joe? Yep, I got it. We might not get a job for NASCAR, but North Main Woods. You see that? This has only got one to deal with now. Huh. Isn't that some... Wow, that's quite a cut. Holy God. I mean, that could have happened on our down trip with a full load. You Hard know. to tell. You guys could have just heard it. Well, you know. He's adding up. It's gonna get a little cumbersome down there. Huh? It'll get a little awkward down there in a minute. <laughs> That's what that is, guys. What do you think, old boy? How's the progress report? We're, gonna, we're headed back to the job site right now, Joe, to see if we're making progress. We gotta be making progress. And we're putting a dent in there. Seventh load. Yeah, I promise you we're putting a dent in it. You had a little hard time on that last load. What, did it sink in one spot, Cameron? No. Nope. Yes, She's just greasy. Is it? Yeah, you ain't got much treads on these. They're highway tread anyway, you think? What, these tires? Yeah. These are worn out highway treads. Yeah. Racing slicks. Just a little, just a little greasy, that's all. The shoes stuck. Quite a hill right here, ain't it, Joe? We're coming down over. I'm telling you, this country ain't like other spots in the North Main Woods. No. This Why they get up, dumped up on with down. snow? Yeah. I bet you money this ain't gonna be plowed, this one of this road. Yeah, no. Not unless they're cutting out the end of it like they, they did last winter, I guess. 
Told you that's over two foot deep in spots. trying to grab now Or go get my truck. Can you back up a hair more? No. You're cold if you want to. Or you think you'll get stuck? Up is down, down. Good. <laughs> All right, another load down. Got a good solid dozen loads in here. Or five, I don't know. How many we got? We ain't very good at counting. Three, four, five, six. We're gonna do one more load. Donnie's got dinner just about done for us. Uh, got one load in us. Then we're gonna kind of reevaluate how we're looking. Uh, full send. Almost full send. Go easy. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, easy. Oh, oh you're into the trees here. Trees heavy. I hook for a minute. I gotta come yep. back now. You gotta come back a little bit, Joe. Yeah, hold it. Yeah. Back up and just hook up. Try to go if you want to try. Hold on, Joe. Hold on. He's going. He might have it now. You got plenty of room here. Let it rip.
grab that donut. I could get dump the rest yeah. of that in that. Ain't the first Mopar I hooked on to. Oh, Cut it out. <laughs> Supper's ready. Come and get it. You ain't gonna have to tell us twice, Donnie. Uh, no, I'm headed. You got some hungry boys. Nope, we got plenty. All right, I'm heading in. What an awesome, awesome day, guys. Couldn't ask for a better day. Can't believe how much work we got done. We cut hundreds of trees and got them taken care of. And we got a uh, one, two, three, four. We got about a dozen loads of real good quality high packable shale in here for our base so that camp should never move and then uh we're gonna do a pretty pretty decent sized parking and turnaround area because that kind of drives me nuts going uh, to camps that we gotta back one truck out to get another in and all sorts of stuff like that so we're, we're gonna make sure we do it upright while we can uh, looks like another dozen hauls out of that shale pit ought to do it. We got reinforcements coming tomorrow with Stevie. He's bringing a 16 foot dump trailer. And yeah, and then we're going to go get some, some top gravel after that. Brandon will probably flatten the shale out and then we'll slide over and get some top gravel. But couldn't ask for a better day. You know, we had some mishaps. We had some some tough situations and that's why you get into tough situations with good people because it just goes a lot easier when you're with good people that think of ways to get through stuff like that rather than just get upset and throw their hands up in the air because you don't really have that option when you're up here in the north main woods so brandon cameron donnie awesome awesome day we got so much done now we're heading down to the trapper camp and uh we're gonna eat some grub you know, one of the best reasons to bring Donnie along on any camping trip is is because of this right here. It's all going. Don't worry about it. I know better than that. We don't think we've ever got to the bottom of one of his chop sueys. Bullshit, you wait. <laughs> what do you think, fellas? You need a bigger shovel? Oh, I like it a lot. Need some of that. What a great day. We got a lot accomplished. Yeah, we sure did. We? I said you guys got No, we did. All I did was... Stand around what? Nope, we got easy 10 hours on that machine today. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Good. There was a pile of trees standing this morning when we woke up. We had some serious morning wood. Yeah. Yep. Took care of that. And now we got some shale coming. Reinforcements coming in the morning. Yep. You, did you get through to Stevie? Yep. He'll be here sometime morning. He texted yeah. me and said he already got PVC glue. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. I'd have had garlic bread, but I didn't trust that oven to light it. I don't know what, <laughs> how many it. mice it would cook a flock. <laughs> yeah. What's the uh, what's the bottle of choice tonight, Cameron? Absolutely nothing. McGillicuddy's uh, Lemon Drop? That's a new uh, one. Dr. McGillicuddy. There's a McGillicuddy's Peach. I've never heard of that one. I've heard of Peach. I've never heard of the, the Lemon lemon Drop. No. That looks like an old bottle. My cousin had some traps out on some unorganized territory land. You know what I mean? You don't need landowner permission or whatever. Yeah. And somebody from town, a guy from town, noticed a set out off a logging road and he drove his hand right in it what the hell listen had his tag in it brought took it to the game wardens after harassing the trap when the game warden brought the trap back to my cousin it still had that idiot's leather glove in it <laughs> Oh, what an idiot. Yeah, he could be arrested for harassing the trap. <coughs> Still had a trap. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I, remember, I remember one day I was trapped on a skip. We had an ice storm. 
and we were running 220s and 180s from Fisher and Martin, and they were bare, you know. Corner bears. Yeah, but they were bare. We didn't have them in boxes or, or covered up or anything. You know, they were on leaning poles or straight trees like this. How did you bait them? You use like, same thing as coyote bait? No, we used partridge carcass. That's not legal either, Joe. It was. It was, <laughs> yeah. Or a chunk of beaver meat. You know, yeah. you'd rub that beaver up and down the pole. And we, uh, so we got like an inch and a half of ice on everything, rain and froze. So all the corner bears were froze and the triggers were froze. So we said, geez. So we had to run all four trap lines. I had four trap lines out, northeast, southwest, 100 in each. We had to run all 100. We had to run all 400 and clean the ice off all the triggers, off all the open traps. And we were running Montgomery 220s that were the strongest traps. He used to leave them set all summer. To loose to try to weaken them springs because they'd snap a martin and rip the fur. Yeah, they were yeah. deadly on a fisher. I've never seen a better otter fisher trap by far. Montgomery didn't make contours, <coughs> they made footholds, but for some reason, one year they made them. He got all he could get. Well, we so we're running the line. I don't know, we're probably two, three hundred traps in. I was wearing gloves that day, I'd never wear gloves ever. And we'd run, and I'd have my axe, and he'd spruce up the bait and the scent. I'd grab the two jaws on the top of the 220 and, and take that trigger with my other hand or the axe and <laughs> scrape all the ice off and reset it. Done, done. We'd run out, back out. One of them, of course, that'd be one of them Montgomery's. i go up, just grab the thing. Oh. I don't know what happened. Next thing I knew, snap. Wow. And I couldn't even blink. Come right across the top of my hand like that and just held me right to this tree. Stuck right to it. He look, I look over at him. My eyes about that big. He looks at me. He goes, "What the hell did you do that for?" <laughs> I said, "Get me out of this thing." Yeah. He had to take my axe and put it in the jaws and wedge it. No the care. best. I mean, this trap was. So you why couldn't. You didn't break your finger. I'd have been stuck in that trap. I'd have had to take the trap with me if he wasn't with me. Yeah. And we thought for sure it had broke my hand. Right. Yeah. But I had them leather gloves on with padding in them. Probably helped you just. Oh, uh, that's wow. the only thing that kept me from breaking. Wow. After that, I touched the rest of the traps like this. <laughs> I was a little bit more cautious after that one, but I'll never forget that sound. Huh. Yeah. Boy, oh. and, it, and it happened but so quick. Nice. So quick. I mean, uh. that's the only regret I did have from trapping is I didn't save anything for myself. Just because I always figured I could just catch another one. Yeah. But it, I did sell some fisher, some female fisher. That were like pale that i kind of wish i had a couple of them back can't thank you guys enough sincerely gratitude sincere grateful we're heading the right direction now we get we're gonna see something being done tomorrow it'll look different when you come flatten that it's gonna it'll look way different it'll be a different ball game but all right, fellas. The stove ain't in bad shape, is it, Joe? No, we were going to bring that to the other camp or just buy a new one, whatever. But okay. if we're going to leave this standing, maybe we'll just leave it in here. All right. Yeah. All right, fellas. I'll see you in a couple hours. Right and squirrely. We'll yes, sir. Right. You want me to shut this light off or are you, you going to leave it? Well, that's going to do it for a night for me, guys. I might have a long night with all these skeeters. I better try to kill as many of them things as I can before they get to me. I'm going to wake up down a couple quarts of blood if I don't get ahead of these things. Put the light on the ceiling. They go to the ceiling at least, and you can get them there. But I'm going to do a little reading tonight. I got the adventures of Lou and Charlie from the Fur Fishing Game. This one's volume 8 pretty exciting stuff and then uh i don't think i'm long for this world it's only 8 30 right now but we put in oh well about a 14 and a half hour day minus a meal or two so pretty awesome day gonna stevie's coming in tomorrow we're excited about that uh, excited about having 
the reinforcements too. And yeah, we're going to go hard at it tomorrow and try to put in a 15, 16 hour day. So really appreciate all the support guys. Thanks for tuning in and make sure you check in for tomorrow.